What car would you have in mind when I would tell you I'm driving a red car, which is fast, which was designed by Pininfarina and holds a legendary status? Ferrari? Think again. Today I'm driving the Peugeot 205 GTI. Some say that this was the GTI of the 80s and 90s. Of course it wasn't the inventor of the GTI because that was Volkswagen with the Golf. But this was the next best thing and probably it drives even better. The regular 205 that this GTI is based on is probably one of the best selling cars that Peugeot has ever produced. It was just a small economic car, but when they started to build a GDI, it was quick as well. In fact, the commercials pointed out that it was quicker than airplanes and helicopters and it could jump off ski jumps. Well, I think I'm not going to try that today. This red GTI that I'm driving right now is a 1.9 model from 1991. And that's one of the later models because they produced it, the GTIs until 1993. The first GTI had a 1.6 liter engine. It was a quick and light car. A couple of years later they introduced a 1.9 model. A 1.9 liter engine is a very big engine for such a small car. That makes it a real pocket rocket. car is almost 30 years old, but there's only really one thing that gives that away. It has no power steering. In the later models, power steering was an option, so if you don't like the extra exercise, you might want to look for a car which has that option. This silver GTI is a 1984 model, and that makes it one of the earliest cars that were produced. It has a smaller 1.6 liter engine that needs revs to go fast. Even though it is slower than the 1.9 on low revs, it is still quick and very rewarding when you put the pedal on the floor and wait for the needle to hit the red line. You can easily recognize the 1.9 by the bigger speed line wheels with wider tires, the signs of the C-pillars and the partly leather bucket seats. The biggest differences between earlier and later models are the rear lights, the color of the indicators and a totally different dashboard. Furthermore, later models had catalytic converters installed and were tuned back a little just to meet exhaust restrictions. From which model year this happened depended on the country it was first delivered to. In the Netherlands, all 205 GTIs from 1990 have a catalytic converter. Enough about restrictions. Peugeot 205 was one of the most successful rally cars of the 1980s next to the Lancia Delta Integrale and Audi Cutter. It for instance won the World Rally Championship in 1985 and 1986, won the Dakar Rally in 1987 and 1988, and became second in 1987's Pikes Peak Hill Climb.
combination of road and rally performance made it a true legend. Thank you for watching. If you like this video or want to support the channel, then please subscribe. You will get an update when a new video is posted.